WBLS was at the Paley Center for Media's tribute to African American achievements in TV, hosted by Oprah. Beautiful black tie affair, recognizing seven decades of just groundbreaking, historic African American contributions to TV, drama, comedy, news, talk, sports, you name it. They were here from Cicely Tyson, the Dr. J, Gabrielle Union, and Carrie Washington and more. When I think about African American achievement in television, the first thing that comes to mind for me is gratitude because I know how many people have fought and worked hard and struggled so that I could have the opportunities that I have in my life and so I'm very, very grateful. It's very interesting. My mother says to me all the time, Felicia, you don't see yourself as other people see you and I guess she's right. I guess she's right. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be here and celebrate the number of people who are being recognized and honored this evening, with this evening. And there's so many people whose names and faces we're not familiar with because they work behind the scenes and that's very important too. So thank you. Thank you so very much. What comes to mind? Um, I think of all the old shows. I'm, I'm 51, so I think of Flip Wilson. I think of Good Times. I think of um, the Jeffersons. All of these shows that basically paved a way for us to see ourselves on television, which is so important. And I think moving forward, we need to see ourselves. We need for the networks to, to honor all cultures and say, I see you, I hear you, and I'm in your corner. And you have a corner in this business. There's a thousand things that come to mind. Generally, they start around Julia. They go to White Shadow. They go to, you know, Harry Belafonte. They go to um, some of the creators of the Muppet Show. I mean, like, it, it literally can take you anywhere because we're everywhere. Um, it's hard to pinpoint one thing. It's kind of like, well, what do you follow? We're there too. Um, how far back you want to go, we're there too. Um, not always how, uh, in retrospect, maybe our finest hour um, with some of our earlier depictions and, and, you know, nowadays we don't look at it very favorably, but they were there. We were there, uh, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're everywhere. And uh, I was just saying, you know, even if you don't subscribe to a diverse uh, life in your own real life, understand that it's good for dollars and cents. You know, um, diversity makes good business sense. You look at Fast 7, you look at the whole Thursday night block that Shonda has taken over, you look at um, Being Mary Jane, you look at Scandal, you look at Blackish. People are tuning in. So you can either catch up or you can be left behind. But we're making money over here, so your choice. I've been asking everybody tonight, when you think of African Americans in TV and film, what is the very first thing that comes to your mind when it comes to African American contributions in TV? First thing that comes to mind? Not enough. Not enough. Certainly not enough positive ones. The people who came before me. Um, I think it would be easy to rest inside of our moment of orange, but really the truth of the matter is that there were there's a poem that uh, Maya Angelou read at President Bill Clinton's inauguration um, on, the, on the dawn of morning, I believe it's title, and she has a line in it that says something, your passages have been paid for. And that's what I think of. Julia and Diane Carroll. I think that's one of the first shows I saw where I remember being just overwhelmed by a, by a uh, character. Um, you know, there's so many moments and I've been thinking about a lot of them but they're so also important and they're also important because there was a day and it still exists today when they're not enough African Americans on TV and so we have to keep fighting for that we have to keep fighting for realistic images um, and so you know I just when I hear that phrase I think of the whole history uh, of our people on television